What's going on guys? So Marty back at again with your weekly Rust Skins videos and it looks like we've got another Complete the Sets week because we've got some continuations of a lot of sets here but it isn't actually a Complete the Sets week, just a happy coincidence and we've got some pretty fire looking stuff here. We've got continuation of the No Mercy set which is the No Mercy jacket. We've got a new armored door which we haven't had one of those for a while, single armored door that is. We have a new wooden door. We've got a new road sign kit happening and we also have some hoodie and pants plus we also still have our november mustache because obviously it is still november so that cause is going to probably continue until the end of november and we will get started with the bombshell hoodie and pants now this is a continuation of the bombshell set i'm pretty sure that german guy gets a different skin creator to make each item that he's had accepted so far obviously besides the fact that the hoodie and pants are made by the same person but overall i do think that these are looking pretty fire with the rest of the bombshell stuff and they're only going for a dollar and 35 cents the only problem is the bombshell road sign stuff was oversaturated to the max when it came out and i'm pretty sure the uh, Metal Gear was as well if I remember correctly. Plus in my opinion I don't really think there is a very high demand for the bombshell stuff at the moment. Although as that German guy becomes more popular on YouTube as a Rust content creator then his fans will buy these skins off of the community market to rep his gear and so for that reason I do think that these could be a safer long-term investment but as a short-term investment I don't really think they're going to make you that much money. Going for only $1.35 which is standard store price for hoodie and pants I do think that these will be going for only $1.35 these are standard store price but I personally don't think that the demand is going to be there at the start for the bombshell hoodie and pants in comparison to what their quantity is going to be on the community market when they actually release. Although in saying that at the moment the bombshell pants are second last and the hoodie is fourth last on the top sellers. So at the moment I do think they're in a good spot at the moment for investing and the chance of them becoming oversaturated is lower because of that obviously but it is still day one and people could stock up on these. But overall the fact that they're only $1.35 I do still see these being a good long-term investment but what I'd recommend to do is instead of buying them off of the Rust Adam store is placing a buy order on the community market and getting them for cheaper on there. Or if you want to buy them as a play skin, buy them obviously you'll be supporting that German go. And I do think that their prices will go up over time. So overall I do still see them being a safe investment but I do think they're going to be a long term investment. So if you don't have that much money, I wouldn't recommend investing in them. But if you're happy to hold on to them for a while, then I would recommend investing in some bombshell hoodie and pants. But overall, I will not recommend investing in the bombshell hoodie and pants for this week as a short term investment. Alrighty, moving over to the cardboard kilt, vest and helmet. These are actually kind of fire. So these are a continuation of the cardboard set, which has just had the AK and the Python, only weapon skins so far. But I do think that the Easter eggs all over this set are great and it looks like they're increasing with the more skins that keep coming out. So all of this road sign stuff has got Easter eggs all over it. Plus the barcode on the back of the helmet, which is a Hitman reference. I think that is absolutely great. And these are only going for $1.35. So overall, they're not going to be expensive items to be picking up. But the cardboard set itself really hasn't been successful so far with both of the items underperforming. I'm not sure if the comfortable cardboard sleeping bag is a part of this set, but that's going for $1.69, which is below the store price. And then we've got the AR and the Python. The Python going for $1.72 and the AK going for $1.85. So at the moment, pretty much all of the cardboard, well, all of the cardboard stuff has lost you money. So for that reason, I'm not going to recommend investing in the cardboard armor for this week for those reasons. I really do like this set and I'm going to definitely be picking it up myself, but I don't think they're going to be safe investments off of the Rust Item store. And I do think that you can get them for cheaper on the community market with a buy order if you do want to be investing in these items. And I also just quickly want to mention, I'm pretty sure this guy must have dextrocardia or something because the heart is on the wrong side of the road sign jacket. But overall, really great looking skins, but I'm not going to recommend investing in them because I don't think they're going to be safe investments for this week. Alrighty, moving over to everyone's favorite continuation. We have the No Mercy jacket by Bad Trip. Everyone loves the No Mercy stuff and it has pretty much all stonked. So this is going for $3.45, which is above standard store price. And we really don't have that many jacket skins on the community market. You'd think that this is a good thing, but overall, I don't actually think this is a great thing for the No Mercy jacket when it comes to stonks. Currently, it is the top seller. We don't have that many on the community market. And I do see oversaturation happening definitely for this skin. And the fact that it's $3.45 does make it a harder investment to be making profit off. So if you do invest in the No Mercy jacket, I do think it's going to be a medium to long-term investment rather than a short-term investment. And depending on how it goes on week one on launch, 
of when it goes onto the community market, then I do think that that is going to determine how it goes as a medium term investment. If it gets undercut to the max and oversaturated, then obviously it's going to take a lot longer for the No Mercy jacket to rise in price. But if it goes up as $7 on week one, then obviously the No Mercy jacket is going to be very successful or it's going to get oversaturated and undercut by everyone during that week as well. So I do see a higher chance of the latter happening and a few of them selling for definitely a higher price than $3.45 and then they instantly get undercut within that day or the next couple of days, which would be probably the best time to be buying it when it's getting undercut by everyone. And then after that, I do think that it will increase in price. So overall, as a long-term investment, I do see this being a safe item to be investing in. A medium-term investment, it is going to be determined by what happens on week one when they actually release onto the community market. And as a short-term investment, I really don't think you're going to be making that much money unless you buy it on day one, which is today, and then sell it on day one when the No Mercy jacket releases to the community market. If you don't have that much money in your Steam wallet, then I'm not going to recommend investing in the No Mercy jacket just because it is $3.45 and it's going to be taking a bit of a chunk out of your investing money for the week. But if you do have a decent amount of money, then I do recommend getting the No Mercy jacket because I do think it is going to be a safe investment, especially as a long-term item. I just don't think it's going to be very good as a short-term item. I just want to also quickly mention the fact that the Blackout Jacket has recently released. There's currently 127 of them on the community market, and they're currently going for $3.05. So the Blackout Jacket is, as the name implies, black, and the No Mercy Jacket is black and white. So overall, if people are going to be roaming snow, I do think that they're going to be choosing the No Mercy Jacket over the blackout jacket on the community market when they're going to be buying their skins if they don't have either of them. I do think that the No Mercy will be the preferred jacket overall, especially as long-term items. So I do see the No Mercy jacket performing better than the blackout jacket. And as I just said, the blackout jacket is going for $3.05. So I do think that the No Mercy jacket is going to go above $3.45, especially as a long-term item. So for that reason, I will recommend investing in the No Mercy jacket for this week. Right, I'm moving over to the Hunter and his dog wooden door skin made by Vleck. Going for $2.05, which is the standard store price. Overall, there are four pages of wooden door skins on the community market, 38 skins. And only the first page of those skins are below standard store price. But overall, I still wouldn't recommend investing in this door skin because I personally don't think it is a very standout door skin. And I don't think it is going to have much demand once it leaves the Ross Adam store. Currently, it is the third on the top sellers. So I do think there is going to be a somewhat high quantity for door skins in comparison to other door skins on the community market probably somewhere around 60 to 80 skins of this one item and for wooden door skins I do personally think that that is going to be oversaturation so $2.05 I think if you do want to get this then you'll be able to get a cheaper one on the community market if you want to invest in it I would recommend waiting until it goes onto the community market placing a buy order and getting them for cheaper than $2.05 but overall I really don't think that the hunter and his dog Door skin is going to go up in price. Overall, personally, I'm not a massive fan of it. I do think it's very simple, but some people are probably going to love it. Although I don't think that it's very standout. So for that reason, I'm not going to recommend investing in this door skin for this week because I don't think it is going to make you that much money, if any. All right, moving over to the Weather Armored Door. This is the final item for this week, and this is made by Legacy. So going for $2.05 standard store price, I do think that Overall, this weather armored door is going to make you money because the cheapest single armored door skin on the community market is somewhere um, around $3, slightly above $3, I'm pretty sure. So overall for the weather armored door, I do think it's going to be a safe investment for this week. I do recommend investing in it. Overall, personally, I'm not a massive fan of this skin. I just don't really like the overall design of it. I do think it's well made. I do think it looks pretty cool, but it's just personally not my taste. I probably wouldn't use it over some of the other single armor door skins I have, unless I felt like trolling. And at the moment, I'm not 100% sure if it glows. I'll probably be showing you guys that right now. If it does, if it doesn't, then I'm not going to show you guys at all. But overall, $2.05. I do still think that the single armored weather door is going to be a safe investment for this week. I do like that the skin creator shows off like the rainbow and stuff like that in the Rust Adam store. Um, and the way that they actually designed and make the skin. I think that's pretty sick. And overall, I am going to recommend investing in this item. So we'll move over to the cart and I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of the video. Alrighty guys, so this is my cart for this week. This is going to be the cheapest cart I've had for quite a while, I'm pretty sure. Getting one of everything, getting two of the No Mercy jacket. It's going to cost me $17.75, not really investing this week. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one.
Why? 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 Why?